Ah. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Adrian Nice. Right now, I'm here with my Stone Kill Cowboy himself. You did. All right, my boy is out here making moves. Do you own that uh, vintage clothing place over there? You do? That's, that's me, family market. You pay for your fashion for your classic needs. All authentic, all classic shit. You did? That's dope. That's so fire, bro. Before we get into the clothes, let's talk about your music. Um, who are you? What are you doing in a nutshell? So, I'm Milestone. What I do is country rap tunes, you know what I'm saying? I take, you know what I'm saying? I'm from North Carolina originally. I've been in Atlanta since 2009. I take my experience I learned in the country, experience of life in the city. I just talk about the real shit I've been through, shit I observed, you know what I'm saying? And I put it all fixed. And yeah, I just talk that country shit, you know what I'm saying? So, you say country rap. Country rap tunes, yes, sir. What makes, you know, it country rap versus just like rap? Like, what separates? Um, it's just a certain vibe, it's a certain soul, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a certain approach to a track, you know what I'm saying? It's just like talking that shit that only folks that's from the country would know, and they will resonate with them, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's the same thing as an authentic feeling of, you, you know what I'm saying, a street rapper or somebody who really know women, like, it's the same thing, like, you know what I'm saying, when it's authentic, you'll know. So that's what it is, it's that feeling you get, you know what I'm saying, when you know it's authentic. So I'm talking that authentic country shit that only country folk would know, mixed with the perspective from the city. Be being that I've been in the city for so long, I, I, got, I got best of both words, you did? Is there, um, there kind of like a mainstream type artist that you could say like, oh yeah, that's country rap, to kind of give us like... Well, um, that phrase was actually coined by Pimp C. Say that again? That, that phrase was actually coined by Pimp C. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to UGK, you know what I'm saying? Um, I would say definitely like UGK, the a Ball MJGs, the Outkast. You know what I'm saying? Those are some of my forefathers, the people that, you know what I'm saying, helped raise me. I, I grew up on their music also. I mean, a little bit more different, but hype. Three Six Mafia, Project Pat. You know what I'm saying? I grew up on them too. And uh, so yeah, it's just it's a different vibe, you know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as like now, I don't think there's really nobody actually doing what I do right now. Um, there are some country rappers, you know what I'm saying, um, that I know that I know about, I've heard of, you know what I'm saying, Jelly Roll and a few others. But um, as far as what I do, nobody does what I do, respectfully. And let's talk about um, your uh, your shop. When did you start getting into vintage clothes and stuff like that? So I started selling clothes on eBay back in 2016. So after that. It was just consistency. The, the consistency kept coming. I kept finding dope shit. Back then, see, was it good money or? man, listen. Back then, it was so it was different because everybody's trying to resell now. Everybody trying to make a hustle now. So everybody trying to get into the reselling or other forms of hustle. Now, back then, it wasn't as many. So you can go to like your average thrift store. You can go to a Goodwill and find some crazy, all that good shit, crazy shit for the low. But nowadays, everybody capitalized off of it. Now, a lot of the good shit is going to be in some of the hidden places. You got to go to the rich neighborhoods and shit. So I've been doing this shit since 2016, making good money. I actually took this serious enough to make my own website and get my LLC back in 2019. So right like September, right before the pandemic hit, you know what I'm saying? That's when I started everything. It's crazy. I thought I, I didn't know what was going to happen with my business, but... Shit turned up, shit kept going, you know what I'm saying? So now, really, like, honestly, that's my nine to five. I don't have a job. Wow. That's how good it is, nigga. What? That's how good I've made it. So, let, so um, from your experience selling different items, what would you say is kind of like best sellers? Best sellers or just something that people are always looking for or something that you know, like, if I see that, I can sell that type shit. Um, definitely my graphic tees, um, I would say more so of like, uh, like Sailor Moon, Powerpuff Girls, um, I, I, got a lot of, I got a lot of women that shot with me. So like Betty Boop, um, I mean it'd be a lot of like anime stuff too, like you know what I'm saying, the Naruto's, the Yu Yu Hakusho, shit like that. Yeah, I mean whenever so I had some shit like that, I just saw the Demon Slayer shirt tonight. Um, I, I was on, it's a, it's a convention called Momocon. That's in Atlanta. It's a it's a all, it's a all anime convention and shit, manga, and um, I sold a lot of shit out there too. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, yeah, it's been doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think those are my, my main sellers. And then like, if I get like some di different type of jackets, my Olympic jackets, I be having some Rick and Morty jackets, different stuff like that. Those sell too. Even now, I'm selling jackets in this hot outside. That's crazy. That's crazy. 
And so you got a show coming up, right? In Atlanta. Let's talk about that. So in Atlanta, I got a show coming up. It's going to be June 9th. You know what I'm saying? The, the woman you hear right now, she's performing in that show as well. Risa Raps. It's going to be an all-live band show. There's going to be no music played by the DJ for the artists. DJ going to be there playing her music. You know what I'm saying? But for the artists, no. It's live band shit. So June 9th, I'm dropping my project, Country Black Man. It's going to be on all streaming platforms. Country Black Man is the EP. You know what I'm saying? It's the first project I dropped in a couple years. So, you know, so I'm excited for people to actually hear some of that shit. And I'm um, performing the whole shit. It's produced by um, Five Points Bakery. Shout out to them. All live bands, Joe Knife at Arbor ATL. Shout out Arbor ATL. This shit gonna be crazy. You dig know what I'm saying? Look, that's fire. She's been saying nothing but good things about it. Definitely make sure y'all go out there. What's the date one more time? June 9th from 5 to 10. June 9th from 5 to 10. Make sure y'all come out. I got a lot of people coming through. Some special guests. I can't say who the special guests are, but I'm well connected in Atlanta. So y'all, if y'all come through, y'all gonna see who it is. Y'all definitely come through. And you get a free shirt if you download the project. You come through, get a free shirt. You know what I'm saying? Get a shirt, download the project. Boom. And if they want to tap in with you to stay in contact or get Get the address to download the project, all of that. What's your Instagram? So, four words. I am Miles Stone. My, I am Miles Stone. Four words. And then the business is Feather Market. F-A-M-L-E-I Market. F-A-M-L-E-I Market. That's for all your authentic classic needs. That's also on the website, too. Keep on me with either of those, you know what I'm saying? I'm well connected. You need anything? I'm an assistant. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of shit going on. Also working the ranch too. So shout out to ET Horses 2022. Also working the ranch too. So if you're out in Atlanta and you want to have a question, experience, come holler at your boy. You need. All right, I'm yours, Adrian Nice. Make sure you tap in with him, and we out. Peace.